I've used the combination both uh, in class and online exams. Uh, previous to the last couple of years, I've used primarily, in fact, exclusively uh, in class exams. But over the last couple of times that I've taught uh, introductory psychology, I've been uh, trying to incorporate online exams into the course curriculum. Uh, last time I taught it, I had four exams in the class, four total exams. Uh, the first and third were online exams, and the second and fourth were uh, in class exams. And this worked reasonably well for a couple of reasons. One is that the online exams allowed me to free up time for my class so that I wasn't actually running an exam during my class. Uh, the way the exam worked is that uh, the students had, uh, at the beginning of the day, 24 hours to complete the exam, and they had one hour within that 24 hours to actually uh, get the exam done. So they could do it, and I hope they would do it outside of the uh, class uh, time. This is a big advantage to me because, of course, one of the problems with large classes is that doing something like conducting an in-class exam is essentially a logistical nightmare. Uh, for a simple 50-item exam involves bringing the students in, having them seated, uh, spreading the exam out, or di rather distributing the exam, and then having them complete it, then bringing the exam to the front, all of which in a 90-minute period essentially takes up that entire 90-minute period for what amounts to about 30 minutes worth of actual exam writing. So the online exam gets around that particular problem. Online exams in and of themselves have certain problems. Uh, one of the problems is, of course, if they have a 24-hour period to complete the exam and one hour in that 24-hour period, they essentially can use their texts and notes, which is fine. The exams are essentially open book exams. But as such, the exams are much easier for them to complete than in-class exams would be. Um, interestingly, the students often comment on how much they enjoy online exams as compared to in-class exams, and perhaps the easiness of them is one of the reasons why. As a result, what you have to do is make sure that the online exams are sufficiently rigorous such that they are um, difficult enough to generate a good distribution of grades for the uh, topic that you're uh, testing. And this is relatively hard to do, something that I haven't uh, learned to do quite sufficiently yet, but I hope to in the not too distant future. One of the big advantages of online exams is that uh, students are used to that format of learning or that format of testing. Um, they've all done stuff online where they've assessed their personality or their IQ. And these sorts of things are ways in which they um, have had experience in terms of this online testing. And so it's not difficult for them to transfer that knowledge or that ability to these sorts of online exams that I, that I use. The other thing that they really like about online exams is they get essentially instantaneous feedback. And this fits into the sort of, you know, 21st century short attention span view that we have of our students, which in my opinion is not entirely correct. But certainly they do enjoy getting that instantaneous feedback and knowing how well they did, not having to wait the week that it takes for me to get their grades to uh, be graded otherwise.